Holy shit. Christ, Christ, Christ. Um, okay. Hey guys. Uh, it's been a minute, but I just wanted to check in with you guys. Maybe after, what has it been, a year? A year and a half? Um, sorry. Uh, this is quite a shitty intro, but, um... It's only because while I was randomly sitting at work, I realized that it's been forever since I updated this channel. And because of that, I wanted to severely apologize. Um, I'm not one to kind of, uh, well, what I mean to say is I'm not about YouTubers or just people who make YouTube their hobby and create content and whatever. I'm not with them apologizing for things that they can't control for life happening and whatever. But I genuinely feel like I need to apologize to you guys only because I kind of left you hanging. I think um, I was reviewing my videos because uh, I'm not sure uh, you guys would care, know, or whatever. Of course you wouldn't know, but... I recently got a new job and it's a much better job in comparison to um, the job that I had before where I was trying to be a supervisor and I was trying really hard to kind of succeed um, in, I guess, doing things there and whatever. Um, so I'm no longer working there. I ended up quitting that job. Well. I ended up turning in my two weeks. In a perfect world, I would have just said fuck you to all the supervisors and uh, the store manager and left. But I think pretty soon I have to go to that store anyway just to buy something. I tried going to Best Buy, but Best Buy is fucking ridiculous. Like, they're so expensive. Um, granted, you know, they have their rare deals sometimes. Um, but I'm getting off topic. Uh, the whole point is, is I ended up getting an office job. I'm getting paid fairly well. And the main thing that I do is sit on my ass all day and scan documents, which I would say is a pretty perfect job. Um, right now, like I said, I just got off work. So I'm just sitting in my car and talking to my phone, which might be weird, but I think the people passing me uh, they don't see me, but for the people who might, they'll think that I'm talking to somebody important. Not saying you guys aren't important, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> Either way, with that being said, I just wanted to announce that. That the reason why things haven't been updated on my channel for a long time is because um, I felt before with my last uh, video... Um, my life was kind of going in a downward spiral, or at least I felt that way. I feel like I might have been making things a little bit too dramatic or not. Um, I felt how I felt, and there's no, you know, undermining that. But, um, God, what was I going to say? I just felt really sad thinking back to how shitty I felt way back when. Um, but things are a lot better. Um, I'm making new friends uh, at this job. Granted, they're a lot older than me, which is just amazing. If I could give you guys any advice, who, like you guys, if you're currently working um, minimum wage and you, and you want something better and whatever, um, I would say strive for a desk job. But that's only if you're interested in it. Because I have a few friends who like the fast pace of um, working uh, in restaurants and fast food restaurants. And, you know, that, you know there, there's, no, there's no real shitty job if you enjoy it. You know what I mean? Um, but I just want to give the advice to people who are openly willing to, like, I guess, keep a note of it. But um, I just want to let you know, just in case you weren't aware or need to be reminded there are better jobs out there um they might be a little bit harder to get into and they might not be available right now but you should always keep your eye on the prize 
and kind of let it be uh, known or open that this is something that you want to strive for. And with this current job, I wouldn't call it shitty. I mean, I get paid by the month, which fucking sucks, but I'm good at saving my money. So, I mean, I make it last. Um, But uh, it wasn't for this specific job, but for the, it's not even a company. Um, But I tried getting this specific job for maybe, uh, I'll say for five years. For five years, I tried and I tried and I tried. I took tests, I studied, I filled out applications, I even, I went to certain minimum wage jobs because I figured by working there it would make my resume more impressive, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, because the thing that sucks is the only jobs that are available to, um, I guess, younger people or people who don't have college degrees and whatever are minimum wage jobs, fast food jobs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And unless you're going out of your way, unless you're in college, unless um, you work in the student center in your college and you have experience do community service, whatever. You have to go above and beyond just to get a generic job that pays you really well. At least where I'm at, which sucks. I mean, there's always merchandising. I do remember um, there was uh, a subscriber who was just like, hey, merchandising uh, is the way to go. You just listen to your headphones and you do your work and that's it. And I honestly, um, I considered it. Um, the problem is, is if I ever did a reveal of what I look like, I would never be hired to be a merchandiser unless it was for a clothing store or something. Um, I'm very, I, I'm very frail looking. Uh, (laughs) I'm a very frail looking nerd, so nobody's going to want me in any type of stock room carrying anything, um, unfortunately, which sucks because I might not look it, but I, I feel I'm pretty strong. I can still beat up my brothers. Um, kind of, (laughs) um, but I'm, I'm still derailing. I, I'm excited just to, I guess, talk. So forgive me. But anyway, um, what was I saying? Uh, I, I just want to, remind people who might be in the same place I was, um, a year and a half ago, two years ago, whatever, however long ago I made that video. Um, I just want to remind you that there are better jobs out there, but it just takes consistency and it takes strategy in finding certain jobs and getting certain experience. Um, with this particular job, um, the people who are now my supervisor and boss completely shit on me during the interview to be quite honest. Like they made me feel like shit for having so many customer service jobs. Um, cause I think ever since I turned 17, um, which where I'm at, you're able to, uh, work. I mean, you can work when you're 16, but, um, I was close to graduating high school. I had all the time in the world and, um, I decided to get a job because I wanted money. And my mom wanted to be an asshole and, you know, buy my brother's things, but not buy me things, Uh, which I guess makes sense because I was interested in computers. So the stuff I wanted was more expensive than a $40 video game, I guess. So I totally understand. But, um, um, ever since I was 17, I was, I, I have been working, Um, granted there have been maybe two or three years where I took a break. I was sick of working. Um, and I decided to focus on more of my hobbies and turn that into a profit or something like that. Um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but yeah, during the interview, these guys wanted to shit on me and they were just like, Oh, well, um, I can see that you've had so many jobs, you know, why would you want to work here? And I don't know, to me, it just seemed really condescending because it seems to me like, oh, 
you know, just because I've worked a lot of jobs, that must mean that I'm a problem kid. You know, I, I don't keep my jobs long enough, etc., etc. I didn't like what he was saying, but I had to kind of calm myself down, um, keep a cool temperament and just be confident and honest. And, um, you know, cause this asshole, he wanted to like humble brag or it was kind of like a weak flex on, oh, I've only ever had one or two jobs in my uh, younger years, and then I ended up working here. Well, congratulations. Like, how lucky for you that you were lucky enough or privileged enough or whatever the fuck enough to get a nice job that daddy probably recommended you and then, you know, uh, helped you ease in whatever nice job you have now. Congratulations. But my life, was it, it isn't and was not ever exactly like yours you know there were situations where life constantly happened and I had to move I had to go to different areas I had to take care of certain people I had to do this and I had to do that so you know I kind of I kind of had to hit him back with uh that and I, I also had to just speak up Like, I figured at that point I wasn't going to get the job. So I was just like, fuck it. I was like, you know what? Yeah, I've had several jobs, but if you look closely, about six or seven of them are seasonal jobs. Because what I like to do is I like to work on my hobbies and profit off of my hobbies. But that doesn't mean that I'm not a hard worker, which is why I've been working for 10 years. Um, And life happens, you know? So, like, fuck off. And, And I'm not ashamed at how many jobs I've worked, you know? Because you can call any person from any one of those jobs and they'll remember me because they remember how hard that I worked at their jobs. And they know that, unfortunately, I had to leave because life fucking happens. I didn't say it like that, but I basically said it. And then he shut the fuck up. And next thing I know, you know, I kind of figured I wasn't going to get the job, but I did. I ended up getting a call from that asshole And they were just like, hey, well, we're hiring. Just wondering if you wanted a job and when you wanted to work. And I was like, as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Whatever. Ever since then, life's been kind of bumpy, but it's been pretty high. Um, I've had New Year's resolutions that I think I stated on one of my um, update videos. Um, And I've achieved them all within the year after my last update video, um, which I don't know if that's confusing or not, but I ended up reaching all of my goals. I ended up quitting that job. Um, I ended up getting two jobs, uh, before I ended, I ended up getting this specific better paying job. So I ended up working at Home Depot in a clothing store. Home Depot fucking sucks. Home Depot fucking sucks. Like, I loved some of the people at Home Depot because they were just real. Everyone was there because they needed the paycheck. And Home Depot pays you a lot because they know their fucking job is shitty. So they pay people a lot, more than minimum wage, probably a dollar more than minimum wage. A dollar fifty more than minimum wage. Because they know people need money and they know you're going to go through a lot of shit. So, you know, here's ex- here's an extra dollar fifty, but you know, you're gonna go through a lot of shit. And here's the thing: we're not gonna help you with anything. And they sure didn't. Home Depot fucking sucked. I worked in customer service for. I worked at the customer service desk. I was supposed to be a cashier, but because I had so much experience there, um. The manager wanted me to work at the customer service desk, which I guess is strange considering at some, if not most Home Depots, um, they promote from within and the customer service desk, you gotta, you gotta be experienced and already work in the store to get there. But I had enough experience for them to just place me there, which was kind of an honor because I was like, oh, thanks, I guess. Um, And then within like four months, they wanted me to be a supervisor Which, at the end of the day, if that job wasn't so shitty, I would have became a supervisor and then, you know, left anyway, just for the experience and whatever. 
But honestly, it was during that interview with Home Depot, like whether they needed people or not, or what, if this guy was like trying to stroke my ego or whatever, to come from a job where they treated you like shit or like you were expendable, no matter how hard you fucking worked and whatever, et cetera, et cetera. It was nice to have someone acknowledge your experience and and so desperately want that for a specific part of their store. I felt, I don't know, I felt honored, like, because <laughs> I knew it was just Home Depot. I knew I didn't know shit about lumber or whatever the fuck goes on in there. And, um, but I felt honored because it feels good when people just acknowledge your efforts. And, um, so I ended up working the customer service desk. It was fucking shitty because of course Home Depot treats thieves, well-known thieves like customers instead of denying them service or denying them in the store. Um, they treat them like customers and let them wander around, steal all the high priced items. And then the managers look to you and be like, Oh, why didn't you stop them? Bitch, what the fuck did you want me to do? What was I going to do? Like, these are these are coked out meth heads, crackheads, whatever. And they and, and they're willing to run over old people. This guy who was he was stealing a chainsaw, a hose, a whole bunch of power tools and shit, ran over, like shoved an old lady, knocked her into some shelves. I saw it. It felt like fucking always sunny in Philadelphia. It felt like a skit. I was like, is this real life right now? It felt like a fucking anime. I was like, what the fuck? This guy shoves an old lady and, and fucking runs out of the garden area. And, um, fuck, where did he go? Um, yeah, runs out of the garden area. Come to find out he had a fucking driver waiting for him. Um, so the driver's revving the engine and then he had another guy waiting to help him pack all the stuff, dump all the stuff in the trunk. They did. And then they drove off. Like it was fucking crazy, but you had managers looking at you like, Oh, why didn't you say anything? You know, if you see anybody who's suspicious, just call for security and tell them to meet them wherever you see the, uh, the, the, the thieves heading to, or what aisle they're hanging out in. Uh, spoiler alert, by the way, we had no fucking security. We had no fucking security because for some reason, all the Home Depots want to share their security guy. So we had maybe a security guy for two days out of the seven day week. Like what the fuck? So, so I think Home Depot thinks that thieves are retarded. So they think that thieves wouldn't know that they didn't have security, but the thieves would specifically come in when security wasn't there and, 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 and have, it was Christmas for them five days out of the week. It was Christmas. And I'm not going to lie. I was tempted. I was just like, if I'm ever at an all time low, I know where to go. I know where to go and I know where to get cash and I know where to have food and make money and whatever. Cause that job was ridiculous. Again, I loved some of the people but management was kind of terrible, um, except the store manager. Eh, except the store manager, he was a lovable guy. Like, felt like a fucking father, honestly. Like, cause he absolutely loves customer service and taking care of people. But Home Depot is not. It's not the place. And it's like Home Depot makes billions of dollars a year, but can't even spare ten thousand dollars just to pay security guys. It's pathetic. But um. I didn't mean to go on that little rant ramble, but that's just to update you guys on what the fuck has been going on. Um, anyway, I worked at Home Depot for a, about six to seven months and I worked at the clothing store. The clothing store was annoying too because I had to, you know, it's customer service and you have to baby customers and make them feel important. And I'm over that shit. I'm over uh, kind of the customer service culture where people people who go shopping just feel like they're lords and 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 ladies and you are their their servants you are the you are the common folk the peasants that are like born to serve them it, it it's crazy um i'm over it 
But um, literally while I was working these two jobs, I ended up paying off a lot of bills. Um, I ended up, you know, saving money and working for um, some common goals. Um, but then another fucking bump in the road happened and, um, what, what the fuck happened? Um, another bump in the road happened and, oh, I ended up, uh, so me and some of my family members were renting out this, uh, home. And, um, I always had a bad feeling about the, uh, the lady who owned the home, basically. Like, something was off about her to me. Um, and out of nowhere, she just wanted her house back. Like, the, the big sell to get us to rent her house was... Oh, yeah, she's a retired teacher, so she's going to be traveling and whatever, you know, shit old people do that they should have done when they were young, but now that they're old, they want to, like, travel the world and shit. And so, I was just like, okay. And then, out of nowhere, you know, uh, my stupid fucking crazy aunt decided to, you know, invade. So, that was fucking troublesome. I think even during some of the videos that I was making, she was there. And I would say during that last video where I was in a downward spiral, um, it didn't help that my job wasn't great. It didn't help that the friends at the time, I thought they were manipulating me. Um, and she, and you know, then she was there, she showed up. And this is the most, if you guys think I'm nitpicky, pessimistic, fucking depressed, sad, upset, whatever. She's that times two million. I'm K.O. Ken Goku and she's Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and pessimism and depression and fucking negativity. Like, fuck. So not only was my life kind of tough, but then you got somebody who, who hates the thought of happiness and positivity making things just worse and distracting you and preventing you from like achieving your goals or attempting to prevent and then trying to clown you for whatever goals that you're trying to reach. I had to tell her off a few times. I'm just like, look, I'm not your friend. So don't talk to me like this. Like, I don't care if you're my blood. Like, <laughs> who are you? I, I barely even see you. And you think you can talk to me like this. That's crazy. Um, <clears throat> Didn't mean to get all Brooklyn on you guys or Italian. Sorry. Um, well, that was that was that was the nanny. <coughs> Again, I'm rambling. But um, um, long story short, there were definitely ups and downs. Um, I made a lot of videos because I had my own room. But because this creepy, stupid-ass lady decided that she wanted her house back, you know, can't be mad that she wants her own property back rather randomly or whatever. Um, didn't have anywhere else to go. And unexpected fees popped up out of nowhere. My car, which was working well at the time, suddenly decided to not work. So I had to get a new car. So there, So the money I saved up had to go somewhere else. Again, it was just, it was another bump in the road, but I mean, and then the deepest or biggest bump was I have to, currently I'm living with seven family members. I don't have my own room. I don't have my own space. I'm um, basically rooming with my family to save money so that I can end up making um, more goals for myself. Um... I feel like it's wise, money-wise. I mean, if you want to save money, you can always live with other people. But I got to say, it, it's mentally draining. Because you have to babysit just grown-ass adults. And it's so annoying. I, I've been there for almost a year. So, I'll say the first half a year or year and a half. I mean, year. 
after the update video. Um, I was in the process of moving. Um, I was working two jobs and um, things still kind of weren't going right for me. So that was basically what was happening. Um, and then this year, um, I've been living with my seven family members and saving money. Granted, there have been new bills and I have rent to pay, so it's not like I'm saving a lot. But I'm making decent amount of money to where I can make ends meet. And I'm probably saving a few hundred dollars every month, etc. It's nice. I feel like an adult, I guess. Um, but yeah. So what is that? In 25 minutes, I was able to fill you guys in on basically why I haven't been able to make videos, why I, why I didn't make videos in the past, and etc. Um, that was, I guess that's the drama side, the drama downside, um, kind of, because the positive thing was, you know, I worked hard, I achieved all my resolutions and whatever. Um, things, things were well, kind of. Um, and then this year. Um, I've definitely been focusing more on my hobbies. Granted, because of this job, it's full time. So I haven't been able to really, um, focus on what I want to really. I mean, I've been trying, if that makes sense. Um, again, um, my t-shirts, um, my art, etc., etc. Those are my focus right now. I want to definitely, um... I want to, if I had the time, uh, I would love to permanently focus on this stuff and get it to a place where it's like, okay, this is cool. Let me work a part-time job or go back to full-time and then kind of finish up with this, et cetera, et cetera. I can't. Um, this job pays too well. And, um, for the time being, um, I kind of need the money, but at some point I do plan on leaving this job and making time for my hobbies. I want to make videos again. There's so much I want to talk about. Boku no Hero, I didn't think was going to be good. It's fucking amazing. Um, I did see an article where it was just like greatest anime of all time. That I will disagree with, um, but it's definitely really, really good. And... Um, uh, I don't know. I think I think that's a I think just that in itself. I mean, it w it would never be a rant because I love Boku no Hero, but to be honest, I think most of the characters are pretty bland. Um, I love Deku. Deku is like the perfect underdog. Um, and I fucking despise Bakugo. All Might is fucking the goat like I fucking love All Might he's like the perfect anime father figure um let's see what else um I do like how some of the female characters um they're actually put to use they're not just there as like a fan servicey thing um one thing I don't like, though, I don't like the projection of Boku no Hero, where you have all these classes and whatever, and they introduce so many characters, and they make it seem like each character is pivotal and whatever, when clearly it's the characters that don't have deformities that are really um, more important than the rest. Um, I feel like Boku no Hero and some fans of Boku no Hero... Uh, like to project that, oh, every character is equal. Like class 1A and class 1B. Um, class 1B, they're clearly side characters, but you know, all of class 1A, like they're not main characters, but they're, but they're all on the same platform, etc., etc. They're not. The monstrous looking characters, the guy with six arms, you don't know shit about him except that he has six arms and he's a minimalist, but you don't know shit about him. You, like... The only characters that the story pretty much gives a fuck about are the people who don't have, like, deformities. Todoroki. Todoroki's family. Deku. Um, somewhat Deku's mom. All Might. 
um, all, all for one, fucking Bakugo, um, Uraraka, kind of, Ochoko, whatever, whatever you want to call her, like, Momo, kind of, because the girls still don't get, like, any highlight, I mean, they definitely have their moments, kind of, um, but it's nothing that I'm amazed with, um, in the same breath where I'm amazed as the, the male counterparts, because obviously they're the main characters, they're more important, I guess, um, but anyway, uh, Ida, too, like, there needs to be more, I feel like after the stain thing, everyone stop giving a fuck about Ida, <laughs> and I, I fuck with Ida, um, but anyway, I don't mean to make this a Boku no Hero thing. I also, I just wanted to update you guys on, um, on why I haven't uploaded, which I can check that off. Um, so why I haven't uploaded, um, you know, what's been going on with my life. Um, and I, and I guess job advice. Um, I, I kind of said that in the beginning. Um, let's see. Uh, you guys are probably wondering when I'll be back, when content will be back. I'm going to be honest and I, I, I just, I don't know myself. Um, it's probably going to be at the point when I move out and I get my own space for sure. Or, um, or I live with some of my family members and I'm able to get a room, but still save money. Um, money is the goal for me right now. I have to make a certain number in order to kind of, um, get results. At least that's how it works in my mind. Um, but yeah, so, um... I don't know when. I think sometime next year. I think maybe January, February of next year, 2019. I might have my own space uh, to work with. It's where I can focus on all of my stuff. Because living with seven people, I gotta say, it's super fucking distracting. You'll never get shit done. You'll never get shit done when you have to babysit seven people. And when two to three people especially just want to take up your time. They see that you're working hard. They see that you have a goal that you're trying to achieve and all they want to do is distract you because they want you to be on the same lesser level with them. They, 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 they would rather you sink with them than to see you swim and fucking rise. Aim ever higher, bitch. Aim ever higher. We all know who said that. Anyway, I'm not here to get emotional. Um, I just wanted to update you guys. And I don't know how many times I have to say that, but I, I, I'm excited, um, just talking cause it's been a, it's been a minute. Um, there was also another thing when I do come back, there's definitely more segments and content that I do want to continue to produce. Again, I don't think there's anything in Naruto worth rehashing or revamping or, um, talking about. There was definitely... A Phoenix Wright parody-ish that I wanted to do where um, I basically rehash comments and discussions that I've, I've had with users um, uh, about Naruto. I can't find the videos because most of them have been taken down, um, but I can still remember them because a lot of them had funny things. But at, at the end of the day, the the point of that would be whose side are you on? Um uh, or what points do I and this other person have? Um, like, for example, uh, there was someone that I argued with. Not even debated, I argued with. Because they were saying that if Sakura and Hinata got in a fight, who would win? And I was just like, Hinata, of course. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck? And, and if... If you guys, if your first thought was actually Sakura, un unsubscribe. I don't even have that many subscribers, but I'd rather have a hundred than, than some fake, no way. Nah, I'm joking. That's really fucking petty. You guys are a part of the clan. <laughs> so, 
I shouldn't say the Klan. I I always think that it sounds racist, but, um, I definitely got to find something for my channel and I got to find a Hokage hat PNG so I can put it on my little image thing for sure. Cause we're a village bitch. We're a fucking village. And I love how it's been a long time, but I remember the subscribers I had before I left. And now I see the number now and it's not a dramatic increase, but it's an increase nevertheless. And honestly, because I'm so pessimistic, I thought that I'd get a decrease for sure. I thought because I wasn't making content or I wasn't making any more Naruto rants or Naruto related content, everybody was going to unsubscribe, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But instead, it's like I've I've gained subscribers and I have to thank you guys for that. Also, thanks for listening to me ramble and shit. Um, I'm recording this through my phone. Um uh, that that's a new thing too. I got, I had a fucked up phone, but now I got a new phone. I've just been treating myself um, for the moment, just until um, I'm able to get my own space. Um, but I'm making sure I just have all the right things, and nothing breaks down on me ever, and whatever. I just have all the right things. Um, what the fuck else was I gonna say? Um, but yeah, so that was definitely, I don't know what I'd call that segment, but that was definitely, um, something that I wanted to rehash. Uh, I don't know how it would work because I would love to find those people's comments and kind of read off what they were saying and whatever. And it would play out like a Phoenix Wright court scene and the evidence would be like clips and stats and stuff. Like I thought it would be super fucking fun. Um, to edit and to put together and whatever. And if I had the time, shit, I'd draw my own characters too or, or, or something. Um, uh, I don't know. I thought that would just be a fun little segment. Uh, copyright, you know, just in case. Um, but yeah, I definitely wanted to make that a thing. But I know with YouTube cracking down and, you know, revenue made it trash. Like once they, once they allowed revenue to be a thing, YouTube became so fucking trash because now all types of corporations and companies just claim videos and the whole video's down. All those good comments are on, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I wouldn't be able to find that video cause, um, that video and that argument was such a long time ago, but I remember everything about it, but I still think that would be a good, that would just be good content. Um, but what else was I going to say? Um, there was another segment. Aw, I see my boss. He's limping. I think he hurt his ankle. I, I'm still in the parking lot. I can't talk and drive or else I'll get too distracted. And yeah, it, I'll end up getting lost. Oh, he's limping. I feel really bad. Um... But anyway, um, there was also another segment that I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to continue the cutting characters thing. The only cutting characters video I ever made was with the Life is Strange thing. And honestly, I'm not too happy with the way that one was executed. Um, um, but still, because I do believe that there are series and games where... Um, they pretend that a character is important and they're not. The story could have gone on without them. And I think there was a cutting characters um, segment that I wanted to do with Choji and how I thought if Choji would have died, then um, it would have made Naruto um, a more darker and serious series. Um, or maybe not darker, but Naruto, it was definitely dark. It was definitely serious. Like people died, they got murdered. Um, and they let you know that in the very beginning, it only became like campy and childish and believe it to the extreme. Once it started gaining popularity for sure, which is why there's such a different air around Shippuden, uh, compared to Naruto. Um, but let me see. Um, so I definitely wanted to do that for certain games and um, animes. I also wanted to 
Um, there was another thing that I wanted to do. Uh, I, I want to continue the grinding my gears thing. That's just basically where I complain about a whole bunch of random shit that people on the internet think uh, think is a big deal, but it's it's really fucking not. Um, and uh, fuck, what else? There was something else that I wanted to do, and it was gonna be pretty fucking funny. S- uh, sorry, there's a lot of distractions too. The fact that I decided to sit in my car and talk to you guys was probably not the best idea, but I did it. Let me see. I thought I wrote something down so I wouldn't forget, because I knew I'd forget. Oh, um, here's something that I'm looking forward to. Um, there's a segment that I want to create called perfection protection, where it's basically, it's going to be, um, um, I wouldn't call it a series, but it's basically going to be a continuation of videos where I take characters, I take games, I take concepts that might be, um, not confrontational, but it's, it's not a popular opinion. Um, people might not think it's perfect, but I think it's perfect. And then I provide reasons why. So I go on little mini rants and rambles about, you know, what I think is perfect and how you, people should leave it alone. Cause it's perfect. Like <laughs> Final Fantasy X, for example, that was a perfect game. Perfect deal of fantasy. Um, I named the character Titus. Fuck a Titus. I don't know what that is. Um, but I think Final Fantasy X was perfect. I watched my brothers play Final Fantasy... My brother, not my brothers. I watched my brother play Final Fantasy VII. Um, that was okay. I watched, um, my cousin beat Final Fantasy VIII. I had to help him during some segments, so I played the game um, myself. That was okay, too. The only game that I purchased that, well, my dad purchased, and he thought, because I was his little girl, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't like video games that boys like, apparently. Shut the fuck up, dad. But, um, I saw the cover of Final Fantasy. I was like, oh, bitch, Final Fantasy, that's, I already know what that is. Um, what, 10? 10's already out? I fuck with it. Let me play it. I played that bitch, and it took me to a different world. Mentally, physically, spiritually, fucking energyly. Bro, I was in, I was in Spira. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. And everyone, I swear to God, like, every time I see it, people bitch about the same thing in Final Fantasy, where the story wasn't that great. And okay, that's debatable. The story wasn't that great, and the main character sucked. Fuck you. Like, suck a fat one, bro. (laughs) Suck a huge dong, bro. Like, are you kidding me? Titus is one of the best... If you like Deku, Titus is kind of like Deku and Bakugo together. But then not really. (laughs) I don't know where the fuck I was going with that. But... Titus is obviously a kid. He's Boruto. He's a kid with daddy issues, right? But you can clearly see why he has daddy issues because his dad was an asshole, an actual asshole. It's not like Naruto, oh, dad's gone and he's not here for Himawari's birthday. Fuck you, dad. No, his dad was fucking emotionally abusive to a, to his own fucking child. Um... Titus was closer to his mom, but saw how, like, his parents' relationship was toxic because the mom was so fucking obsessed and in love with, I'm just gonna, uh, the dad's name is Jet, but she was so fucking obsessed and in love with Jet that whenever he went away, which come to find out, I don't give a fuck if you guys haven't played it yet, I'm spoiling it, kinda, but Jet would go to another world, he would go to Spira. And he went to Spira to, like, help that world and whatever and whatever. That's all I'm going to say because I'm not going to spoil it. Because if any of you guys haven't played Final Fantasy X, fucking play it. There's a reason why it's greatest hits. Um, 
But yeah, and he leaves at some point because he always travels. He leaves he co- and, and he never comes back. And the mom dies when Titus is a kid. So not only does Titus, not only was he emotionally abused as a kid and fucking hates his dad because his dad always, always, instead of being encouraging, fucking compared him to compared his own son to himself and was just like bitch you're never gonna be shit I don't know why you're trying to be a fucking soccer player like me what like what the what are you thinking already hates his dad and then hates the fact that he basically inadvertently killed his mom he never he never he never says that though I'm, I'm putting sauce on it but but his mom died because his because Jet never came back and so he he hates him for that too. He has reasons to have daddy issues. And so then, you know, he's trying to be a soccer star. He is, but there's always this underlying feeling after so many years of emotional abuse and your dad saying, no, you're not good enough, where it's like, yeah, even though he's a star, he still has this feeling where it's like, fuck, maybe I'm not as good as I think I am, even though I've done so much. Then come to find out his world is being torn apart. His fucking city is destroyed. Whatever. And then, you know, he's transported into a completely different world where he reacts to it like any normal human being would. Like, if you got... If you're listening to me right now, but imagine your computer crumbling and shifting and reality around you is bending and breaking. And next thing you know, you're in a weird ass fucking world. Are you freaked out or are you just accepting it? Shut the fuck up. I'm going to shut the fuck up because this is exact. This, this is Final Fantasy X is going to be the first episode of my perfection protection videos. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Nobody has to agree, but this is definitely something that always has been like uh, sitting in my core. That I and I and you know, same thing with Naruto. I just have to do it with that. So, um, that's all I'm gonna say for Final Fantasy X. But for anyone saying that Titus is whiny and he's a bitch and he's not a good character. Oh, oh I'm sorry he's not a generic shonen hero with absolutely no personality like his fucking predecessors. And I'm not even counting Zidane cuz I fuck with Zidane, which is Final Fantasy 9. I played Final Fantasy 9 after Final Fantasy 10. Story was pretty good. Um I hate how the graphics kind of reverted cuz going from 8 to 9, it's like what the fuck happened here? Um but it was definitely a pretty good story. Um, Squall and Cloud are basically the same dudes. So it's like, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, and, and notice I'm only speaking of like PlayStation Final Fantasies because I've never played the pixelated ones. But Final Fantasy 1 I heard was trash because you're just a generic hero with absolutely no personality. I heard Final Fantasy 6 was really good. So I might get an emulator and play that. Or hell, I'll just watch a video. Uh, a fucking video game movie about it. I don't know if they do that with pixel games. Um, but yeah, um, there are definitely, I think for PlayStation era Final Fantasy, for anyone to say, oh yeah, Titus is a bitch and he wasn't, he wasn't a good character, et cetera, et cetera. You're a fucking asshole. And, and Titus is the most human character in that fucking game, which is honestly what makes it so fucking good. That's what makes it good in the first place. Because nobody, nobody fucking expected, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't want to, I, I don't want to talk about it, but that's definitely something that I'm working on. Well, will be working on when I get my, um, shit together and have my own area for sure. Um, I want to do more speed paints. I only did one, um, but I'll definitely draw, like, fan art and shit like that. Because, um, I need to find a style, bro. Like, that's what I'm really concerned about. And, um... Yeah, I think that's it. That's the only thing that, um, I'm pretty much concerned about. 
and what I want to focus on content wise for sure um, with that being said like that's it I, I'm trying to think of more to tell you guys but um, that's it I think I have a whole bunch of draft videos that I can upload but they're just my video game ones I think it's Kingdom Hearts I think I think it's just Kingdom Hearts I because th um, yeah, I should have a few, a few videos of that in my drafts. I just, I don't think they're finished. I think I left them as drafts because I wasn't finished. Either way, I have my external hard drive. So, um, I have my external hard drive, so I should have recordings and I can just edit those. But, I mean, judging from the views, y'all don't really fuck with that. But I guess... I'd publish it just to let you guys know I'm still alive. <laughs> um, or if you guys prefer me updating you until I'm able to make content, I can do that every other week or every week and whatever. Um, so basically what I'm focusing on now, um, considering I don't have the means to kind of make videos um, as frequently as I want, um, I'm focusing on um, my art. I'm making a webcomic, um, but I definitely will not tell anybody about it, um, only because if I let it be known what my webcomic is, people will be like, oh, oh, you, you talk shit about Naruto, but this shit's fucking weak, bro, like, this is so, like, what the fuck, like, so, I won't be saying shit, but watch it be critically acclaimed and shit, you know, no, I'm not, I'm not even gonna jinx myself, but. Um, so yeah, I've been focusing on making a few web comics. I've been storyboarding it and writing out the story for years, actually. I've just been editing and whatever. Um, and I'm finally getting to the point where I'm just like, fuck it. Like, I need to put this out and leave something behind, I guess. Like, I, I don't plan on dying soon, but you never know. Life's short, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Enjoy it and do live with no regrets. So... Working on my web comics, focusing on my art. Um, I'm definitely still doing commissions and stuff. I've been networking, so I know somebody who makes um, shirts here. So not only will I be kind of selling shirts locally um, in my hometown, but then I'm selling shirts online too. Um, which I think there's like maybe a few shirts that uh, have been selling really well. So if you guys have bought a shirt, thank you so much. Um, definitely want to do more clapback videos. I haven't looked at any of my comment sections for any of my Naruto videos, but it seems so far, um, I haven't gotten any notifications on my phone. So I'm guessing nobody's left a comment because I guess they know what will happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, whatever. Um, that'll be it. It's almost an hour of me rambling. Um, and I swear this is the only time I can ever ramble and time just flies. I, I try to be time conscious, but I feel like an hour is um, kind of, uh, you guys will, you guys can just be caught up. A whole hour is a whole year of what has been going on in my life. Um, what the fuck else am I doing? I'm doing a podcast too. Um, me and a friend of mine are actually doing a lot of different episodes and stuff and that's been really fun that's just a hobby though um definitely not advertising that to you guys <laughs> um god I do not want to advertise that god we talk about like some cringy things um oh god but yeah it's fun um and that's what's important. So I've been doing a podcast. I've been working on my web comics. I've been working on my art. Um, I've been buying a lot of video games. So if you guys are even really... I like sharing my video game stuff with you guys. So because even though there's a small percentage of you guys that fuck with it. Like I fuck with you guys because you fuck with it. So um, uh, you guys get to see... I'm definitely going to work on editing them better so they're not too boring. <laughs> just, 
just in case they are. Um, so, yeah, if you guys like my gaming videos, um, I'm, I definitely want to play Yakuza 0 because I love Majima. Um, I, I never knew of the Yakuza series. When I worked at the electronics store, I would see it and it looked interesting, but I never like looked at it. And then I must have saw a clip. I love Majima and I, the karaoke stuff is what really sold me. Like now I need to, I come on. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of games. Once I get my own place though, that's when I'll upload that and the other content. Tell me what you guys think of that. Also, um, for the person I forgot, I think grail, grail, grail something. I, I feel like that was in your username, but the Michigo to Hachikin or something. I did it. I just haven't uploaded it. So just in case you thought I forgot, I I did it. I just never got the time to edit it or um, put it together. And actually a week and a half ago, I saw the project file and I decided to edit it and kind of work around with the audio and stuff and whatever. Um, but I just want to let you know, if you're still subscribed or if you're still fucking with my videos or whatever, um, I made that Michiko to uh, video. And I just want to say really quick, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. I love Michiko. I love, um, is her name Atsuko? The girl with the afro? I fuck with those bitches. Hardcore. I fuck with them. Um, Hachikin's cool. Um, God, I loved it when she punched, uh, that little girl in the face and said, respect me. Definitely Deku before Deku. Um, but Christ, I love the anime. Um, I definitely think that anime, um, I didn't see the dub, but I did see a clip of the dub. Not a fan of the dub. Not too much of a fan with the dub. Um, like, the the dub is alright. But do I think it's as perfect as, like, Cowboy Bebop and Samurai Shampoo? No. Absolutely not. I feel like uh, there were a few voices that need to be changed. Um, and I felt like some people were trying to play up their voice acting role. Which made it seem... It, it, it wasn't that great, in hindsight, be, because they were playing it up. But overall, story was so good. Because it was just so out there. I love the highlight of, like, the culture um, that they were trying to highlight in, like, uh, I believe it was Brazil. Um, but anyway, I, I'm saving that for the video, but I just want to let you know, um, I forgot your username, but I feel like Grell was in your username, or if it wasn't, um, I just want to let you know that review is done and I was supposed to upload it like a year, a year and a half ago, but a whole bunch of shit happened. Duh. That's why we're all listening to this video, but, um, a whole bunch of shit happened. So I never was able to get to it, but that video is done. I just need to edit, um, and put more images in it and everything like that. But fuck that guy. I forgot his name. The guy that they're searching for, fuck him. He's a piece of shit. Like, and the ending was very awkward for me. Not the ending ending, but kind of like the last episode before, uh, I'll say Michiko has to go away. That, or, or, or I think it was the, be the, like the first 10 minutes of the very last episode where Hachiko is kind of summarizing what happened. That, that, that left a very awkward air for me. Cause then it was, it, to me, it's like, what was the journey for, you know? But um, I fucking love that anime, and I want to thank you so much for suggesting it, because I didn't even know Michiko Tahachikin, um existed until you recommended it to me. Um, but I'm definitely going to work super hard to um, edit that and upload that when I have the time, probably this weekend for sure. Um, but what else? Um, that's about it. I'm just gonna tie it up at exactly an hour, maybe. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's been my update, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Um, if there's any other suggestion that you have, 
uh, content wise, let me know. And once I get my own place, I mean, I can definitely move forward with that. But I want to thank you guys so much for sticking around. Um, and, uh, whether you guys have been reviewing my vids or YouTube has been advertising it because people just want to find someone shitting on Naruto. I mean, I'm, I'm your gal, I guess. Um, I was thinking of doing reviews too, but I'm definitely not a movie type of person, but there are definitely some types of anime movies and actual movies, um, that I do watch and it's shit. And I rant on those like, like everyone else. Um, but I'm not like, I don't know. Um, I really want to watch perfect blue. Uh, I hear perfect blue is absolutely amazing. Um, concerning story and I guess um idol culture obsessive idol culture and um mental health um within that society dealing with that culture um it it looks very interesting um and it's a very 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 old anime anime movie but I'm going back to my roots like definitely when I do have this, uh, have, um, this spare time because my phone's new and great and awesome, I'm able to watch anime on my phone. So I've definitely been looking at a lot of older anime, catching up with Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5. Um, I'm trying to think of something else. I, I feel like I haven't told you guys. Um, if I do remember, I'll just put it in another video. <laughs> 